Just start the recording now. Yeah. 
And we got to understand that all of our help coming from the Lord. Come on, Reverend. But you, God. God, yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. We 
to you, Father. Because we know you're able to do all things. Lord, you allowed us to cross over, but look where we at right now, giving you the glory. Look where we at right now, giving you the praise. Look where we at right now, giving you the honor, because you're worthy right now. And we come to tell you, Yeah, yeah. They may encourage someone, they may lift up someone, Father God. They might strengthen someone right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. But we all need encouragement. We all need to be lifted up. We all need a word from you right now, Father. We ask the Lord God that you continue to be the light upon our feet and the light upon our path, Father. That we may follow your ways, Father. For you told us that the lead. Yeah. The bright and morning star. Yes, sir. We call on Mary's name. We call on the wonderful council. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. We call on the great position. We call on him. And we ask it. In no other name but Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Come on, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My, my, my. Worthy, worthy, worthy.
Come on now, come on, bless him, bless him. Amen. Let's give God praise in this place today. Amen. Certainly God is worthy to be praised. Amen. Some would say from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, God is worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. I am, I am excited. I am thankful to God. Amen. I am grateful to God that God has kept us and brought us back to this place again. Amen. It's, it's just wonderful to know that you are in the hands of Almighty God. Amen. Amen. And we just thank God for, uh, for these that have ministered. Amen. In song this morning. Amen. We thank God for them. And we praise God for these musicians, for Pastor Askew, for... Uh, first ladies that are absent, amen, to deacons, amen. We want to certainly continue to pray for uh, the deacons of our church, amen. It seems like all of their families are going through uh, battles with sickness right now, but we want to continue to pray for them that God will keep his hand on them, amen. How many know God is still a healer, amen, amen. And so we just thank God for that, amen. We. We are, we, 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 I'm just, it's just good to be in a new year, amen, amen, it's, it's, it may be not like we want it, amen, but we're still here, amen, amen, and I just thank God, amen, that he knows exactly what he is doing, amen, and we would that you would turn with us, amen, if you have your Bibles, uh, turn with me to the book of Psalms. Uh, the 121st number of Psalms, a very very familiar passage of scripture amen psalms 121 amen psalms 121 amen very familiar passage amen because when you're going through you need help amen amen psalms 121 and verse number one and the word reads i will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will neither slumber. Behold, the Lord that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Praise his holy name. I want to talk about the protection of God. The protection we, we, we've experienced, if anything, we've experienced in these last nine to ten months. It's been the protection of God. How many know that in this last nine to ten months, many have prayed like they've never 
prayed before. Many have been serious about their prayer life. Many have been committed because if there's ever been a time that we thought we needed God, it is a time like this. And in this text, this text reveals to us a few things that if we open our hearts and our eyes to understand, we'll see that there are about three things that we can quickly glean from this text. There are three words I want you to remember, and these are falling, circumstances, and defending. Falling, circumstances, and defense. God, first of all, is able to keep us from falling. This psalm gives us clear, clear instruction and encouragement that God is able to keep us from falling. It is though his proud, this, this psalm is, is echoing the words prophetically that Jude would pen in his book that God is able to keep us from falling. Secondly, God is a keeper. If we're going to make it through 2021, the same way we recognize that God was a keeper last year, we've got to understand that God is a keeper of circumstances and from circumstances even right now. Thirdly, thirdly, God, our God, the God of our salvation is a God that is a preserver. God will preserve us and protect us, this text says, from all evil. How many know this morning that God has been with us and he's been there for you and for me? Even, even when we could not do it for ourselves, God still worked things out on our behalf. Yeah. He said to us, I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. He'll neither slumber, nor will he sleep. I want you to see this text today. The Israelites were commanded once a year to make a pilgrimage from wherever they lived all the way to Jerusalem. They were to come man, woman, boy, a girl, and they would come to worship at least once a year in Jerusalem. Now, for many, this trip was long and treacherous. The miles were long. The travelers on this journey to Jerusalem would oftentimes be vulnerable for many kinds of danger seen and unseen. Dangers would wait them. Dangers would be on all sides, many times not to their knowledge. They would come now and they would begin to sing. They would begin to sing this hymn as they made this trek from their hometown or their dwelling place all the way toward Jerusalem or the temple in Jerusalem. Now, this doesn't make many, many of us get excited today, but uh, how many know that if you're on 75, headed north toward Atlanta or south toward Valdosta, and your car gives you trouble, come on, come on. most of us will just pick up our cell phones and call roadside or call another loved one to come check on us. But in the year of 900 B.C., there was no cell phone to call anybody. If you got in trouble on your way from your house to Jerusalem, you were in serious trouble. Somebody better help me today. They, they could not summon the police when they got in trouble. They had reason to fear. They had reason to be concerned. They had reason to feel uh, some kind of way about their safety and their arrival toward Jerusalem. The text says that uh, they would sing this 121st number of Psalms. This Psalm was written to remind the people of God 
that God would be their protection even in the times of danger. The first two verses of this text introduce and serve as an introduction to the body of this text. It says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. One asks, listen, because the pagan gods, the pagans that would build their uh, paganistic temples, would build their temples on the slopes uh, or the ridges of the mountains so that they could be seen from miles around. But the writer of this text says that I will lift up my eyes not to the pagan temples. Not to these false places of worship, not to something made by the hand of man, but I'll lift up my eyes unto the hills. Why? Because that's where my help comes from. I wish I had a witness here. The word help signifies protection. God is pictured in this text as a guardian. He protects us from danger. He protects us. And he keeps us from the hand of the enemy. And I want you to know that even though we may face different dangers than they did, we still have the same protection from God. That if we look up to the hills from which come our help, God is able to keep us just like he kept them. I wish I had a witness here. The question today, beloved, is, how does God protect us from evil? How does God protect us from danger? How does God keep you from your enemy's desire? How does God keep us from being consumed by those who cannot stand you? How does God keep you from the plot, the devilish plan that the enemy has laid out for your life? Text says, listen, verses number three and four, it says, first of all, God protects us from danger by keeping us from falling. My God, that's enough right there. He keeps us from falling for these travelers while on their way to Jerusalem. There were many dangers and one of the dangers that they faced was that of falling. You see in verse 3 he says. He will not allow your foot to be moved. Which is translated. God will not allow your foot to slip. In other words. He says God will keep you from spraining an ankle. God will keep you from breaking a leg. And God will keep you from breaking a hip. I wish I had some Bible readers here. He says. He says listen. He says. He says. They had to travel all times a hundred miles. And if you get a mess around and break a leg while walking a hundred miles, you in some serious trouble. You better hear me. And so the writer says the first thing that God will do to protect you is to keep you from falling, to keep you from falling. And, you know, the older we get, one of the things, particularly as I go to hospitals here and there. There's a sign they hang on the door that says this patient has a potential for falling. In other words, the equilibrium of their strength is so fragile until they have the propensity to fall if nobody is there to help them. And I came today to tell us that, listen, I don't care who you are. We've all got a propensity to fall if God is not there to help us. I don't care how holy you think you are. We all can miss the mark and fall. I don't care who your mama is or your daddy was. We've all got the propensity to fall if God does not help us. He says he will keep you. He will not allow your foot to be moved. Now, it doesn't mean that we're not going to go through some trials. But it does mean that God will be with us through every storm. All right, all right. Now, now I want y'all to get this, get this, get this. Mm -hmm. There are some things that other people do to us. 
But there are other things that we bring come on, come on. on ourselves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, y'all better catch this. Catch this right here. What I love about God is that God not only protects me from what somebody else might do. Y'all better hear me. But God is able to keep me from hurting my own self. Uh, I wish I had somebody here. Listen, I remember years ago while we were in, in Okinawa, Japan. Missy and DeMichael were very young at the time. And, 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 and Andrea went through the house and, and she made the house child proof. Everywhere you look, the electrical outlets had safety plugs plugged into them. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. You had little gates on all the hallways and on the staircase and you had gates there and you go in the kitchen and you can't get nothing out the cabinets because all the cabinets got latches and all kind of cables on them. And, 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 and everywhere you look, it was something that would keep the children from hurting themselves. Y'all better hear me now. And some of you are getting mad. And some of you are getting frustrated because some of the things that you're trying to get into, y'all better hear me, God is not allowing it to work out because God is trying to protect you from your own self. And so he says, he says, he neither slumbers nor does he sleep. God is able to keep us. And, 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 and what I love about God is, is that God does not sleep on the job. You know, I, I see, I, I can tell them now, now that I'm retired, I can tell. There were many days that I, they caught me. I, I, if they would have called me, I was knocked out sleep. See, some of y'all in here so holy now, y'all can't tell the truth. See, some of y'all ain't retired yet. Some of y'all still sleeping on the job even now. Amen, amen. But I remember, but I watch this right here. But God never sleeps. He never slumbers. He never nods off. He never takes a cat nap. He never needs a power nap. God is alert and God is watchful over those and the things that concern him. These people, these particular pagans, the Old Testament believed that it was possible for their God to fall asleep. See y'all, see some of y'all missed what I just said. These people believe that it was possible, brother, brother Owens, or brother, brother, brother Oaks, it, it was possible for, for their God to fall asleep. See, I don't want a God that if my house catch on fire, I got to run in and get him out of there. I don't want a God that if I get in trouble, I got to go get him out of trouble before he can get me out of trouble. I don't want a God that if my bills get too high, I got to help him get some money before he can help me. So David said he neither slumbers nor does he sleep. David said he's always on the job. He's always paying attention. His eyes are always watching those that belong to him. So he says, because he's watching, because he's watching, we can feel adequate even though we might be inadequate. Because he's watching us. And the Bible says that the steps of a good man, of a righteous man, they are ordered by how does God keep me from fault? Because he orders my step. He tells me where to stand. He tells me the cadence and the rhythm of my walk. He tells me how to move. But also he tells me when to be still. So he says, he says, he will not suffer or allow your foot to be moved. Not only does God keep us from falling, beloved, Pastor Askew, but secondly, God will shelter us from our circumstances. See, these people were 
concerned as they traveled about slipping at night while they were traveling. They would travel on mountainsides in very narrow ways. But they were concerned about that. But there were some other dangers around them. He says, he says, he says, God, in verse number five, God is a keeper. The word keeper means to watch, to preserve, to support, to aid. To keep God over. What is it that God is keeping God over us from? What is it that God is watching over us to protect us from? Mm -hmm. The text lays it out and says the sun by day and the moon by night. Watch this. It was hot during the day. They needed protection because while they were traveling, the sun would be beaming down on them. Now, I didn't know this. I didn't know this. To be honest, I didn't know this. I didn't know this until I was reading this text and studied. And it says, it says, he would, he would be a shade in the daytime. But he would also be a protector at nighttime. Can, let, me, let me see. Can I, can, can I want y'all to get this? He said, he said, I'll be a shade over your right hand. And I wondered why wouldn't God say both hands? But he said, I'll be your shade over your right hand. Whenever they went to war, the sealed was always carried. Y'all better hear me. The shield was always carried in the left hand. Y'all better hear me. So the shield provided shade for the left hand. But the right hand where the sword was, was exposed to the elements and the sun. And God says, I'll keep you even when you're getting ready to go to war. I'll keep you even when you're in a position of combat. I'll keep you even when you're getting ready to do work against the enemy. I'll keep you. He said, I'll be shade hot during the day, cold during the night. I'll keep you. Now watch this. Watch this. He said, I'll be your shade. And he can be shade because he's always present. How many know God is like a shadow? He follows you everywhere you go. Virtually there's no place we can go to escape the presence of God. And, 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 and the only place that you cannot see a shadow is is when you leave the light and start walking in darkness. Watch this. He says, I am with you. And God promised that, listen, I'll protect you and shelter you from circumstances seen and unseen. He says like this, he said, I'll be with you always, even until the end of the world. God is there. And if God is there, why are we so worried about what we see? If God is truly there, if you truly believe God is with you, why is it that every time something happens, you freak out? But why is it that before you have faith, you got to see the miracle? Y'all better, y'all better help me today. Why is it before God works it out, you're losing your mind? Yes, and then when God works it out, you're like, oh, I knew he was going to do it the whole time. No, you did not. If you believe he's there, if you believe he's taking care of you, if you believe he's providing for you, if you believe God is sustaining you, then you ought to act like it when the time comes. He says, he'll shelter you from your circumstances. Thirdly, he defends us against evil. He says, 
the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. And this evil denotes intentions from wicked people. Now, some of y'all know some wicked people. Some of you might be in the car right now with some wicked people. I don't know. You might be in the car by yourself and be in there with some wicked people. You better hear me what I'm telling you. But God says, I'll preserve you from all evil. In other words, these diabolical, devilish, dead level plans that the enemy has set up for you. He says, I am God in your life and I will keep you and I will preserve you not from some evil but from all evil. That's why you don't need to freak out when the folk on your job start talking crazy. That's why you don't need to freak out when somebody say I'm going to leave you. That's why you don't need to freak out when somebody say I'm going to take that from you because if God is keeping me He said, he said, I'm going to keep you from, he, Dad, listen, listen, listen. How, how many know that oftentimes the person you watching is not the one really doing <laughs> the dirt against you? Some, some of y'all better get what I'm telling you. You, you, you think you know, I, it's her, it's her. I seen the way she looked at me, it's him. I saw how he cl cut his eye at me. But sometimes, you better understand, there are some folk that are wise enough and crafty enough in their evilness that they don't even show their hand until they've done their devilish work. And God is saying, I'll keep you even when you don't see what they're doing. walking on their way to Jerusalem singing this song watch this evil all around them we call them in the military we call them a soft target meaning that they were exposed meaning that they could easily be picked on and God said listen they kept on singing and as they were singing, they were singing about the power and the protection of their God. See, some of y'all going to get this on the way home. Sometime, Sister Owens, sometime when you're going through hell and high water, you don't get out of the trouble just because you belong to God. Sometime, you got to learn how to trouble your trouble. Y'all better hear what I'm telling you. Sometimes you got to learn how to sing before God delivers you. Sometimes you got to learn how to pray before God opens up the door. Sometimes you got to learn how to lay before God before you see the way made. He says, he says, he says, watch this. He says, he says, I'll keep you and I'll preserve you. Enemies all around. Thinking that, listen, these people now, they, they're going to church. They haven't been to church to the temple in a year's time. Two things they're going to have. They're going to have plenty of food. And they're going to have some offerings to the church. Because they got to bring their offerings. So they said, listen, if we can catch them slipping, Bear Gerald, we can, we can get them. But how many know you can't see everything? You, you, you can't watch everybody. You can't hear everything people are saying. But I know that God does. I know that God hears. I know that God sees it. And God said, he said, even though they are planning, even though danger is all around, God says, I'll preserve, I'll keep you. Watch this. He said, he said, it looks bad. It looks bad. Watch this. It looks bad. They're walking, going through these narrow and blind alleys, going through these gullies and these ravines. It looks dangerous. But yea, though I walk 
through the valley shadow of death I will fear no evil for thou art with me you see the reason why we can shout in 2021 is not because we did everything right in 2020 but the reason we can shout now is because God is still with us the reason we can shout now that if God be on our side, he's more than the whole world. Watch this, watch this. I'm getting ready to leave y'all alone. Watch this right here. I want to tell somebody here. It may look bad for you right now. Family and friends may be treating you bad. Children that you raise may come up and go against you. Things may not be working out the way you thought they were. You might be dealing with sickness in your body now. But I came with good news for you today. That if God be your God, he's able to work things out. Watch what happened. David said, in this psalm, he says, tell them that as they're going through 2021, 20, he says, tell them that when they come into a storm, the same thing that brought them over last year mm -hmm. is the same thing that's going to bring them over this year. Can I tell somebody here, how are you going to make it, Pastor? I don't know every prayer I need to pray. I don't know every song I need to sing. But I do know the word of God. And God told me, he said, listen, say what David said. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which come my help. My help, I wish I had a witness here. My help comes from the Lord which made heaven and earth. You got to talk to yourself. You got to tell yourself, he will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth me will not slumber, nor will he sleep. He that keepeth me, God is my keeper. God is my shade. God is my protector. God is my God. He'll preserve me. He'll keep me from all evil. He'll watch me going out. He'll watch me coming in. And he'll keep me when I cannot keep myself I know we're going to make it because our redeemer our redeemer lives our redeemer lives our redeemer lives our redeemer lives greater is he who is in us than he that is in the world as we start this year off, I want you to start this year off telling whatever situation you're dealing with, whatever problem you're facing, whatever sickness may be trying to grip you or a loved one. I want you to start this year off telling that thing, telling that situation what God said here. I will lift my eyes. I don't know how God's going to work it out. That's God's business. I don't know how, and I don't know when he's going to show up, but that's God's business. But I do know God said that I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. David put it like this. He says, I've been young, and now I'm old. But I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor the seed begging for bread if God did it before he's going to do it again if God healed before he's able to heal again if God brought you out before don't you wonder if God is able to do it again you God go on and give God praise you go on and give God glory you go on and tell him thank you don't worry about what you're feeling in this body you keep on giving God glory I'm going to tell you now, I'm going to tell you, the CDC told all of us wear these masks, 
social distance and do all those things. But how many know? How many know? That you can do all of those things. You can wear the mask. You can lock yourself in your house. You can do all of that stuff. And still get sick. What I want you to see today, church, it's God who's keeping us. We need to be obedient with the mass, but don't you put your confidence in the mass that's keeping you. Y'all better hear me. Don't you put your confidence in the CDC, but you better rely on God. God, I'm going to put this thing on, but I know it's you that's watching over me. I know it's you that's keeping me. My life and my times. <laughs> David said they're in the hands of the Lord. And he said, listen, this is what I love about him, Deacon, Deacon Daughter. He said, by this do I know that God is with me. He said, God, you have not allowed my enemies to triumph over me. Ha! I know God is with me. And I'm telling you right now, as we start this year off, we start this year off in victory. Walking in victory, walking in victory, talking victory. Believing God for victory. Somebody here going to get saved. Somebody here, your loved one, you've been crying out to God for them. This is their year. This is their season. Don't you quit right now. Don't you leave that thing now. You keep on holding on to the horns of the altar. You keep on praying. Keep on trusting God. God's going to work it out. He's such an awesome God. He said, I'll preserve you. And I'll keep you from all evil. We want to encourage you today. To know that it's God that's keeping all of us. So stay encouraged. <laughs> stay encouraged. <laughs> stay encouraged. I see you. Stay encouraged. <laughs> stay encouraged. <laughs> stay encouraged. <laughs> no weapon form. No weapon form. We're not walking in fear. We're walking in victory. No weapon form. Walk in victory. Walk in victory. Declare and decree what God said. Live and not die. Above only and never beneath. Walk and say what God said. Never leave you nor will I forsake. Walk and say what God said. By my stripes you are here. Walk and say what God said. Shake yourself Zion. We're not going into 2021. Afraid of our own shadows. We're not going into 2021. Worried about what the news people are saying. You better find out what God is saying. You better put your hope in what God is saying. You better put your trust in what God is saying. Hallelujah. We sang the old song in the old church. Hold to his hand. God's unchanging hand. How many know his hand does not change? He'll keep you if you want to be kept. He'll keep you if you want to be kept. While we're here right now. If you're here today, not saved, today is your day. Today is your day of salvation. If you don't know him and the power of his resurrection. I'm not talking about your name is on somebody's church roll. You went down and you got this and they told you that and gave you a piece of paper certificate. I'm talking about you know God and God really knows you. If you're here right now and you're not saved. You can leave different than you came in. He said, the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. 
I'm standing, I'm standing at the door and I'm knocking, I'm knocking on the door of your heart saying, let me in, let me in, let me make you over. Let me give you a fresh life, new life. If you're here right now, you're not saved. Today is your day. We're getting ready to pray in just a moment, but if you're here, you say, Pastor, I want to give my life to Christ on this first Sunday in this new year. Just turn your hands to song so I can know who I'm praying for. Hallelujah. Turn your hands to song so I can know who I'm praying for. Pastor, I want to be saved. If you're here right now, I see your lights. I see your lights. I see your lights. I see your lights. If there's somebody else, they say, Pastor, I'm already saved, but, but Pastor, this, I want to start the year off and I want to rededicate my life to God. I want God to, to make me and wash me thoroughly. Wash me with the full of soap. Clean me up. If you want to rededicate your life, just turn your hands to songs. So I'll pray with you and pray for you. Hallelujah. Don't, don't miss this opportunity. Don't miss this opportunity. The angels, the water is stirred now. The anointing is here now to destroy every yoke and remove every burden. Is, that, is there another one here that says, I want to be saved? I want to rededicate my life. Hallelujah. My third, my third call is, listen, hallelujah. My third call is there anyone desiring to become a member of this great church? We have two churches in one location. Green Grove, Friendship. We don't care which one you go to. We just want you inside the ark of safety. We just want you connected with God and connected with what God is doing. Hallelujah. Is that one that would say yes today? Is that one that would say yes today? Hallelujah. 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 Deacon Daughter, come here. Hey, go over there and talk to the people in that truck over there and ask right. them that, that great truck in the back. Let's pray. Father, I thank you right now. I thank you and I give you glory. I honor you for who you are. My God captain of my salvation Lord I tell you thank you for being a God who protects us watches over us we can sleep because you are awake God we can rest because your eyes never tire we can trust you because God you've proven yourself to be faithful and trustworthy Lord I pray right now for these your people that as we start this year off, God, that we'll start it off giving you glory. We'll start it off giving you praise. We'll start it off exalting your name, the name that is above every name. We'll start it off, God, telling you thank you, Lord. We'll start it off working on our praise. We'll start it off working on our worship. We'll start it off giving you the honor and the glory. We'll start it off, God, saying, God, you alone be praised. <laughs> Glory to your name. Glory to your name, God. Have your way, God. Have your way. These that are in these vehicles, God, those that are online listening, God, touch right now. Heal right now. Deliver right now. Show yourself strong, God. We'll be careful to give you praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name. Everyone said amen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Amen. Come on, amen, amen. Come on, we can do better than that. Come on, we can do better than that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Come on, Zion. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, let the window down and put your arm outside the window. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, lift up, lift up your name. Lift up his name, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If I couldn't do nothing else, 
I just wave my hand. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 <laughs> Glory. Bless your name, God. Bless your name, God. Bless your name. I'm not ashamed of it. Hallelujah. We don't have time for a cute and a dignified praise. We got too much on the line right now. Too many of our sons and daughters are on the line now. Loved one that are sick right now. We got too much on the line now. God, we're going to praise you. God, we're going to give you glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Get your mic over there. Get the mic there, man. Y'all remember this song here? It said, I feel so much better. I feel so much better. I feel so much better in my heart. Well, I feel so much better, Lord, I feel so much better, Lord, I feel so much better in my heart. That's why you can't make me doubt him. Come on now. You can't make me doubt him. Yeah, yeah. And you can't make me doubt him in my heart. Lord, you can't make me doubt him. Lord, I know too much. Yeah, you can't make me Saying I got the love of Jesus. Come on now. I got the love of Jesus. Saying I, I got the love of Jesus in my heart. Saying I got Lord, I got, yeah, I got, that's why you can't make me doubt him. Anybody know that? You can't make me doubt him. Yeah, yeah, you can't make me doubt him in my heart. Yeah, you can't make me doubt him. Lord, I know too much about him. Yeah, you can't. That's why I feel so much better. I feel so much better. Saying I, I feel so much better in my Saying I, I feel so much better. Lord, I feel Yeah, I feel Come on, give God praise all over this place now. Give God praise. If you got the love of God, amen. If you got the love of God, hallelujah. Amen, amen. Ah, uh, yeah. Amen, amen, amen. I want to get that song in your spirit. If you're going through trial this week. When the enemy comes up against you, you just keep on singing. You keep on telling the enemy, you're not going to make me doubt it. You're not going to make me doubt it. Because I know too much about him. Amen. Amen. We're getting ready to leave now. Amen. But we want you to, to know that God is crazy mad in love with you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Amen. He's looking and expecting us to do wonderful things, great exploits. And I'm encouraging you to set your heart and your mind. Green Grove, uh, Friendship. Amen. We're getting ready to go to another level in God. 
We're going to trust God. We're going to do some things that we've never done as a church family before. Amen. We're going to stretch out and just believe God for greater works. Amen. For greater works. Amen. For greater things happening. Amen. And, and, and we just thank God for sending souls, sending willing workers, sending folk that are committed. Amen. I'll tell you one thing that I found out in 2020. One thing that 2020 has taught me clearly, without a shadow of a doubt. 2020, this pandemic taught me who it is you can really depend on. You better hear me. Because there's a lot of folk that talk a good game, but you can't depend on them to do nothing other than just to be talking. Amen. But 2021 separated the wheat from the tear, men from the boys, them that will do and who won't do. Amen. Amen. And so we just thank God for all of you who are committed. And if you haven't been, if you've been slack, amen, now's the time to step up. Amen. You got a chance now to make history. Folk that miss church today, they can't do it. You got a chance now to make history. You can be in church every Sunday this year. The folk that didn't come, they can't do it. You can make history. See, some of y'all missed that thing there. You, 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 <laughs> so you can make history. Amen. Amen. We got one Sunday down, 51 more to go. We're going to make history in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Some folks say, well, I don't want to get out there all on all that, brother. Amen. I don't want to OD on the Lord. Amen. But amen. But listen, we want to certainly thank God for you. Amen. We'll be back on, on Tuesday night. Amen. I've been getting so many calls and texts saying, Pastor, look, we need you back online on Tuesday night. Amen. And we're going to start Tuesday night live again this Tuesday night. Amen. At 9 o'clock. Amen. And then we'll be back on Wednesday for Bible study at 630. Bible study at 630 on Wednesday. Amen. So please, ma'am and sir, log in, invite a friend to come online and share what God uh, will, will be feeding and, 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 and giving us to say to the body. Amen. Amen. Listen, our brothers are already uh, strategically placed to uh, accept our tithes and our offering. And we would that you would please, ma'am and sir, that you would go down and uh, make sure that you, you stop by and give your tithes and your offering. Amen. We certainly are, are thankful to God for all of those who have been committed uh, throughout this year, throughout the seasons, amen, that we've gone through. Because all that we're able to do is, is solely through our tithes and our offering. Amen. Amen. So continue to be faithful. Continue to be committed givers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And God will bless you real, real good. Amen. Play something softly, brother. We're getting ready to get out of here. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you and I give you praise for these, your people. As we leave this place, but never your presence. God, we ask that you would keep us, keep us safe. Watch over us is our prayer. Bless those who are struggling in their heart, in their minds their relationships bless those who are struggling in their walk with you father we pray for release right now even as they've come together and heard this message of encouragement god i thank you for protecting us keeping us from others and even from hurting our own self we tell you thank you for safe travel and grace be with those who are sick in the body right now we pray for those that are struggling with covid Pray for those that are struggling with other ailments in their bodies. God, we thank you that you are still our healer. We give you praise for all that you're doing in their lives. Father, keep us together. Bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. And in all things, we're careful to give you praise, to give you glory, and to give you honor. In Jesus' name. Now may the Lord watch between me and thee while we're absent one from another. In Jesus' name, every heart said amen, amen, amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Follow the direction of the deacons, amen, as we get ready to leave. God bless you, amen. We love you, amen. We praise God for you. We're wishing everybody a prosperous, not just a happy new year, but a prosperous new year. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Go in peace. Go in peace. Amen. Amen.